Okay, everyone, here is a follow up on my Brute Jetter, Jetter's Northwest 4009, 4000 PSI, 9 gallon a minute. So, I've already done one video of it running. I'll show you just a few things. It's almost a year old, but we don't use it a lot. So, it's got 45 hours on it, 45.33 hours. Um, we, if you look at my other video, we actually took the muffler off. It had a slant cut muffler that came out the side and shot down here and we were killing people's grass in their yards. I'm assuming for when it's skid mounted in a, in a van, that's why they do that. But the, the exhaust literally came out to the front here and I don't know, I've got it laying over here somewhere. So that was one of the first things I did was take that off. Well, anyway, it's in the scrap pile. Um, it actually burned a hole through the hose one time because the way it came across, the hose got off the back side of the reel and came down across that muffler and ruined my hose about six months in. So wasn't real thrilled about that. I'll take the blame though. Um, guess I gotta have a second guy stand there managing the hose. Remote works good on it. In fact, uh, for some reason right now, the remote is the only way this thing will start. I called them and they said that they think this key switch is bad. They said, oh, you can go buy one for 30 bucks. I'm thinking, well, I spent 16000 on a freaking jetter. Maybe the key switch could last more than nine months. So right now we have to start with the remote. It will not start by the key switch alone. But yet it'll fire up with the remote. So the remote does work good. Someone else asked you in another video about the remote. This is the remote. It's inside a little protective case. Um, it's got pressure on and off. Well, of course, you, you start with on and then engine start. And you've got your throttle and then your pressure on and off. So basically, you have to make sure after you start it, this pressure is in the up position and then it'll actually use a solenoid or something and turn that pressure on remotely so yeah right now this is the only way it'll start this has to be in the up position for the remote to work and if you leave that in the up position the battery will die so power on don't make a liar out of me we just replaced the battery in this too so unless it's gone dead again this thing should work there it goes Come on. Okay, I guess I held it just a little bit too long. Held it just a little too long, so you heard her squall. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the only way I can start right now, is the remote. Come on. Yeah, that's working real great today, too. That just figures on the video. I guess you might as well see the good and the bad, though. On. Anyway. So, yeah, that's the remote. Like I said, overall, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, water has started spraying out of this grease the zerk right here of all things i've tried tightening it up it almost looks like i'm almost positive it comes out of the grease zerk itself and not this joint where the hose reel turns so i'll probably have to take that off and thread tape it or dope it or something uh what else rust started rusting within the first few months um so you can see right around there their logo on the water tank, the rust all the way around here, um, down here on the bottom, near the battery tray, we got rust. So I, I get it. I mean, nothing's perfect. Nothing's gonna last forever. But come on, it's not even a year old, and it's. I mean, it was rusting six months in. So I figured it would be powder coated and, and wouldn't have those issues, but. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I just about sliced my finger open on that stupid thing there. That's sharp. Um, yeah, overall, I would get more of a tank. That's got a nine-gallon tank on it. 
So if you don't have a good water supply, that buffer tank doesn't last very long. Um, it leaks water in my trailer. My trailer floor, floor is starting to uh, rot a little bit. We put a cap on this usually to keep water from leaking out of here, but then water will actually slosh around. I just got it back from hauling it. Uh, you can see the water sloshing around. Sloshes out of the tank, and I think even out of here, yep, right there, and drips all over your trailer floor or your van. Again, just stupid shit that bothers me. Um, just being candid and honest. It's a little bit difficult to push in and out of a trailer by yourself. You got to plan your job sites accordingly. She's pretty heavy. Um, so you got to get a running start to get it up a trailer ramp. And let's see, I will shoot just real quick. I'll show that. Um, what my trailer floor is doing. So I would recommend a, a water tank. There's an actual water tank you can get that hooks up down here on this or this or whatever. So that would be handy. I just haul it in this enclosed trailer. I strap it in. See there's where it was leaking water. Uh, there's pretty good dip right there and right there where the tires sit. And there's a, a, a joist or whatever you want to call it in the floor of the trailer there. So it's on either side of it, making the floor sag from the weight and the water. That's about all I got to complain about. I mean, it's it's definitely opening some lines for us. Um, it's not paid for itself quite yet, but we definitely opened some lines with it where our competition hasn't. My nozzles. I'm running... Let me shut the door. It's cold. Get back inside. We had a Reaper nozzle for nozzle for our old jetter. We had a general cart. It was only five gallon a minute, five and a half gallon a minute. So this particular Reaper that we run was sized at, I think it was a six gallon a minute. So I've got this Reaper that we were running. Um, I just got an ends roto drill. I'll shoot a video on these sometime on how they cut and how they they compare. This one is actually set up for this jetter. So this is running nine gallon a minute, 4,000 PSI. So it's not a true fair comparison when this one's only sized for 3,000 PSI and six gallon a minute. So I need to guess, buy me another, maybe I'll buy another Reaper and sell that one to somebody who's got a smaller machine. And this is a warthog that I got with this as part of the package. Those are the primary nozzles we use. I don't use, we just use this grease nozzle. Sounds like a dentist drill. We just used that one last week. Um, chisel that came with it, it's almost worthless. Um, it, we're always hitting the lips of pipes or something and can't get this thing to go. So. Uh, this also came with it, some kind of big flusher or something, I don't know. Like I said, we pretty much, the first end is always the Reaper, now it's the end's roto drill. Um, and then those cut a hole to get us in with the Warthog, so then we can get the Warthog through and then the back jets on the Warthog cut roots. That's mostly what we're doing is roots in 6 inch clay, 4 and 6 inch clay. So we're battling roots. Um, and it's usually from the upstream. We got to clean out by the house and we're running toward the main. So we need something that'll penetrate the roots and, and uh, get the flow going. So yeah, that's, that's what we're running for nozzles. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy another one. I was gonna buy another, like the 3,012, 3,000 gallon a minute, or uh, 3,000 PSI, 12 gallon a minute, or is it a 4,012? Anyway, I was gonna up to the 12 gallon a minute but I think I'm just gonna jump straight to like an 18 gallon trailer unit. And I probably won't buy another one of these. I don't know what I'm gonna look at next. Um, maybe go to the wet show and see what they've got available. But uh, overall, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe I have too high of expectations, but like I said, for me, small business, spending $16,000 on something, I guess I expected a little bit more out of it on the fit and finish side. Performance has been good. So, um, yeah, any questions, let me know. 
I can shoot a video of it. Like I said, I will do some on the nozzles. I bought some clear pipe. I'm going to set up a little test station and make some uh, some root masses out of something and and show videos of uh, of how those things cut. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions, let me know and I will answer them. Thanks.